Action! Action! Uh, hey guys! Wait, is this actually the start? Yeah! Hi. That's how I start them! What the frick is up? Oh my god. Wait, oh my god. So guys, this is so exciting. You guys said that you wanted me to bring friends, so I brought a friend. She made me. No! Well, well wait, oh, is this it, an announcement? Oh my god, this is the announcement. Guys. Guys. We're roommates. roommates. We are roommates. It's crazy. Isn't and that crazy? We're like the same person now. How it's do you really- like living with me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I love her. I love her. Yeah, read the script. Okay. <laughs> Where's the script again? <laughs> Hold up. I'm like, say she you made love me, do me this. and that I'm funny I love you so much. and she's, that I'm pretty. She's really funny and really cool and really really smart ah. <laughs> oh my gosh this is crazy wait should we tell them how we met oh my god yeah actually yeah wait what's your name hi i'm reagan york <laughs> at reagan how york yeah. wow yeah. How <laughs> Hold on. I'm, i'm reagan I'm york <laughs> anyways um this is really exciting. I've never, I've never been on Nikki's podcast before. Wait, this is so fun. We met, we met one year ago. One That's year ago. <laughs> it's like a sound effects. No, we did. We moved. In. We have to tell them how fast it was when we moved in. Though we moved in in like, it was like a month. We found the apartment and now we're in. Yeah, me and Reagan met at these like uh, these like okay they would have like these influencer dinners in LA and we were both invited and then we met. We were both invited, <laughs> guys. These were like crazy. They were like Black Mirror. Like, oh my god! Wait, can we talk about this? Actually, yeah. guys. Actually, these yeah. influencers. We need to like expose LA. Okay. This is like things don't people don't think that this stuff actually happens. People don't talk about it either. Like uh, people in LA like don't talk about how crazy LA is. So we're gonna tell you because obviously. Real. Especially because we come, like, I've been in LA for a little bit, but Nikki was, like, fresh to it and thrown to the wolves. That's so true. Wait, Reagan's from California and I'm not. Yeah. So, so I, I'm, like, in shock that she survived, like, by herself like that. I literally am from New Jersey. I'm from a small town. She's a small town girl. She's a small town girl. girl. Living in a... Should we sing for them? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, sh- oh, Juice World? When I- oh. Juice World! <laughs> Freaking said Juice World and I'm singing Renee rap. This is it's her. a little bit of, no, but it's, it's when oh wait oh all girls are the same yeah yeah oh me and Reagan discover that we like the same rap music it's, but it's like teenage little boy music it's teenage boy and it's gross it's but we like it she, no Nikki Nikki was like shy when she first showed me she was like oh this song's like really gross and really bad and then I look at her and I'm like singing we both knew every lyric and I was like this is really it bad. was bad guys but like, good. But it was bad. I um I'm fixing the audio. This is okay. so fun. Wait, <laughs> this is so funny. Um yeah, Reagan and I discovered that we both like rap music and you guys don't even know that like side of me and it was like really scary. It's, really, it's, it's cuz our boyfriends used to show us this music. True true, but then we we kind of like grew up on it and then it's like it's We adopted kind of it. It's like yeah. Fun. I'll I'll send the I'll post the playlist on my Instagram if you guys want. It's called Teenage Boy Pregame. Um it's a morning. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot but oh oh so we met at these creator dinners oh yeah 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 that, should we say what they were called or is that just like <sighs> no it was just a creator dinner. it was like a network it was literally a just network like a networking people. thing but the the creators they would invite to this are like insane like the 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 range True. of types of people that would be at these dinners because it wasn't like a niche it was like any type of social media person ever so it was like you would have people that make like dark fact videos. And yeah. Then you'd have, like, fashion girls. And then you'd have like fashion girls. No. It was crazy. It but like was. we would all sit there and it was like a family dinner vibe. Literally. It was bad. Wait, shit. Oh, people would like order like steak and like it it was really an interesting setup. Wait, is it not working? Sorry, I just changed the audio setting. Do we setting. have robots now? Is no, it, like- it sounds better. Because I, I had it where it was just coming the audio from the front of the mic, but now oh, it's both sides. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, continue with what you're yeah. saying. Say it again. No, no, I was just saying, like, there's so many crazy people these dinners. like, And that's how Nikki and I met. Because it was like a, oh. it was scary because they were like, everyone switched tables. We, it, was oh, like a, yeah. it was like a meet and greet thing. And I was like, who are all these people? I'm so scared. And then Nikki was in the corner booth and you hung out with my friends. I knew no one. 
and I was at this dinner and I was like let me just like try to meet people I thought you were someone else like I mixed yeah we're like friends with two people now and I mixed Reagan up with her I thought they were the same person That's so funny and then we like uh, it was just crazy I mean the, the 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 there was some like characters but afterwards is where we got close after yeah after the dinner after the dinners me and Reagan decided that we were both gonna go to Coachella like a day before Coachella happened oh I was talking about the party after the dinners but that too oh wait <laughs> I was like we sunk Taylor Swift no 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 no. yeah yeah yeah. no after the dinners we there was um a group of guys trying to get like girls to go out Mm -hmm. so me and reagan were like the only two girls both of us never say like no to like something that could be exciting for the plot for me okay reagan and i are very for the plot people we're also we're in this apartment we the while we were picking it we were like should we we were like we can't overthink just go (gasps) the entire time we said that that's so true reagan and i have the same person we're like literally the same person different bonds it's really dangerous but when we met one person like told me he was like mm-hmm. you and reagan this reagan girl are the this same reagan person girl. and i was like oh crap That's i didn't crazy. believe him i was like why and then i hung out with her and i was like Especially oh shoot now. no because like it's, it's weird it's, it's weird. weird no like we literally are becoming like the same like we like we like didn't shower for a day or two and our hair was like crazy because we didn't have all- this we need the backstory we need the backstory story bro well yeah we a lot but basically it's- our backstory is that we met through those dinners then we went out with yeah. with really scary yeah. scary scary people and just bonded through the trauma yeah and taylor swift played and i was like she's fun yeah there was a guy who was trying to flirt with both of us that night when we met and reagan and i were like let's just not uh, let's just not that was a bad that's that's our first that's my first impression of you was like knowing that he was trying to flirt with both of us and me being like okay i'm just gonna like we're gonna ignore it (laughs) and then we no but that's such a power move for us we're like yeah now we live together like come over like so true corner him how do you think he's feeling right now he's shaking in his boots bro in his dark leather boots (laughs) am i wrong that guy was very dark very (laughs) no can you cut that? <laughs> it slipped out. I didn't mean to. <laughs> we need to tell you guys about the crazy people we met in LA. Oh my god! I'm like, I don't even know if we'll get to the apartment at this point. True. There's so this is much. This the crap. backstory of how we ended up at the apartment. The apartment has just like turned us into complete different people in the last four days. Too. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Can we talk oh about my- all the characters in LA? This is actually good. This yeah. is because I I feel like we. This is another thing. We both know the same people on separate levels. We have some separate, separate backstories with these people. Yes, it's so interesting. Because then when I hear your backstory, I'm like, wait, wow, like that's crazy. Because it's different people, but we meet them. Like it, it's weird. It's so weird. Wait, what's what's the different groups? It's I feel like we're in Mean Girls. We're like the plastics. The like we have to categorize them. Okay, okay. They're all freaking guess, crazy. Yeah. In my mind, it's kind of like like the beauty people, the old YouTubers. Okay, people. yeah. And then it's like, there's, like fr- there's literally like a fr- Ow, my pinky! <laughs> she just bent my pinky. The, okay, yes. Um, there's like a frat crowd here of like yes. guys that are just the worst. Oh, sorry. Oh, she um, just got a text from one of them. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing later? No. The worst. <laughs> um, No, it's Oh my God, the da- I need to silence my phone. The dating scene here. Oh, is so rough wait what else tell, tell i don't even no yeah it, it definitely is frat but it's interesting because a lot of people don't go to college in the la so it's True. like they have to get it out of their system but it's like wait i never thought of it like that yeah that's so it's like so a true. weird thing that's like normal and some people are like too old for it i'm like what is going that on? that is so true we met people like in their like late 20s that yeah. are pushing it that are hanging out pushing with like 20 it. year olds pushing it's weird it. it's especially weird. like the dynamic of the guys and girls because the girls are like I don't know, like high school vibe, uh, the same clubs as them. Yes. It's weird. It's crossing. It's weird. It is weird. Yeah. So there are like old beauty guru vibes here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> old beauty guru vibes. <laughs> Casual. Who no, else have we met? True. We've met like some nice, genuine people in LA. No, we, a lot. We, we got lucky to meet each other because after that, it was like we could like figure out who, who the cool is people crazy. Were. And we have a great girl group. <laughs> we of, like, do. Supportive people. That, we like, have a really, I don't know how we got so lucky with that. Yeah. But it was because of Coachella. Coachella was our okay, next adventure. Okay. We can go to that. Yeah. We, Coachella was like, this is when Nikki fell in love with Dominic Fike. No. 
I'm like, don't spill that. She's like, what? <laughs> Front row at every concert. Oh. <laughs> okay. She's, so she's she likes him, but she got me on him too. Reagan and I like weren't that close, and yeah, Coachella. We was still it. aren't. No. <laughs> I'm like, get away. <laughs> Reagan and I were not that close, and and I I was we were both invited to Coachella yeah. by YouTube Shorts, which is insane. That was so last minute. Too. It was like we planned that in like two days. Literally. No, a day. A day. It was the day before Coachella, and YouTube Shorts was like, you're confirmed, and I was like what i was like come over at 5 a.m yeah oh my gosh yeah reagan was like come over at 5 a.m i was still packing so i couldn't come over the night before yeah and we decided to go with our two friends Mm -hmm. um and it was just (sighs) that was the trip we needed even though because i was like stressed about coachella at first because it sounds like overwhelming i was so scared i didn't want to go i didn't want to go no it sounded like because it was like in a time of the year that we had events and so much going on and all i would see was like old youtube vlogs of coachella and everyone like saying it was awful like yeah. dusty crusty. i can see if you go with the wrong people i i Couldn't can see, see how why. that's a, so terrible that would be like the worst experience if you're with people that don't want to go to the music or like don't want to have fun or if or, you get lost at coachella that's scary there's no cell reception it's yeah. like a big dust field what walkie talkies next time yes we were thinking this we coachella need needs that. walkie talkies yeah no it's like <laughs> a shuffling no literally couch. this is fun <laughs> no it is <laughs> no yeah coachella was crazy though because we we had so much fun we guys did. we literally just ran around and like met some cool people oh can we tell them it. about the guy that like told my future guys i think that's when we were both like wait this is weird like weird things happen when we're together that's actually, true actually there was some weird energy every time me and reagan are together there's some yeah. weird energy it's like things time up really or like there's it's, a lot of coincidences. Yeah, it's like we meet people that are almost like meant to cross our path yeah. for specific. It's so obvious it's why. It's so weird. So let for example, yeah, yeah, we're walking through Coachella. I think that's like the first example of this. There's been like a lot though. Mm-hmm. We're walking through Coachella and there's this guy that comes. Up. Sabrina and Danny are two friends. They were like out doing something else. So mm-hmm. me and Reagan are alone, which this- is dangerous for us. <laughs> apparently. No, we were standing there and I think I was taking photos of you. You were. I think I was taking. You photos. were. This guy comes up and he's like. You want to be, or you look like my future wife or something weird. Yes, he, he hits on Reagan. He's like something in love weird. with Reagan at first sight. Wait, should we describe him though? Because they'll get it. It's yeah. not like someone that I was yeah. like, yay. Oh yeah. It was like an older guy. Older. Way big. Older, old, big man. <laughs> yeah. Scary. Not, scary not big man. Not the vibe man. of what we, we were giving like, co- we were the colorful outfits. Like, yeah. Very like. He was so scary photos. looking. He was scary. And he's like, oh, you're my future wife. And I was like, uh. And then Nikki and I were Literally talking like, about hey. having kids with Reagan. Like, oh yeah. It was weird. It was it was really weird. Um, and then he looks at Nikki and he's like, "Wow, I need to read your soul." Yeah, like not flirting. Like he's flirting with Reagan in like love with Reagan. Stopped. But then yeah. he stops at and looks at me in my face, into my soul, and he's like, "I need to. Is it okay if I read your soul?" He yeah. like asked permission. Oh my god! And then I I was like in shock, so I was like I tried to start recording. I like pulled up my phone and he was like, he "Take my hand." Took my hand too. Yes, he's holding her hand, and I was like, "Okay, this is crazy. This is good snap content." <laughs> and Reagan's about I to like record snap it. Content. No, he was like, "Don't disrespect me like that, man. Put that away. You, we're not playing." And I was like, "Which was crazy because he liked you. Like usually guys when they're flipped. flirting are like, flipped. he was like, don't disrespect me like that. I'm talking to a soul." I was like, wait, I thought... I this thought man I, was clearly on something. <laughs> like, wait, why didn't we even take that into account? I'm like, he was a mind reader. No, no he, he was drawn. He was on something. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And but uh, what he, he said was crazy. He, yeah, he was crazy. He I was thinking you. about my ex a lot that weekend. And <laughs> I don't know how much you say. Oh, they podcast. know me. They know oh, me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, They yeah. know me. I'll be like, yeah. guys, I'm missing people I shouldn't this week. Like, I like say that. <laughs> oh they know who that is oh yeah i they know like i've had it like in my last ex was like a three-year relationship so yeah i was going through it this was like we broke up in november this was like april so mm-hmm. you that's funny reagan was being careful she's like i, I know what you say i was like well no i like to talk oh um, this is good though i, like I love this uh, so yeah i was missing him and stuff and i was talking about him to reagan a lot that weekend like the whole well, because we didn't know lot. each other so we were going to our back stories and all of our stories were kind of lining up in the same wait things. but it was funny because we'd walk around Coachella and I'd be like my ex likes this artist <laughs> and I'd be like that was bad my ex wears that shirt my ex like, everything, everything reminded her of her. literally it was like the color purple oh Sabrina was joking <laughs> our friend Sabrina was like oh the color purple my ex likes the color purple just to make it fun of me everything she said was my ex I was like Nikki that was a bad first impression no but I I get it though it was like a funny way you, yeah. you weren't being like crazy you were being funny yeah it was like a joke was it <laughs> now I'm like wait so what that's so- the backstory I'm like talking about my ex a lot this yeah. man like comes up to read my soul and he's like 
he I don't read. Know what he said no. He he said like you need to let go of the past. Yes, he was like you need to just give like the future mm-hmm. a chance. He was like yeah. saying a lot of that, saying you deserved so much though. Yeah, he was being nice, like yeah. very nice. He was like you deserve better. Like you need to let go of the past. Like you need to walk away from that situation that's holding you back. <gasps> It was so I crazy. could just be making this up, but that's no, what I remember. No, we don't really remember exactly, but then, yeah. I, if it, I recorded but it. But then we look away for one second and the man's gone. That is so, <laughs> and he's big. <laughs> we should have heard him leave. I'm like, the ground would have shook a little bit. Ah! No, but actually, where'd he go? Back. I was like, I want to take photos. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He did say one last thing before he left. He was like, and if you ever want to have kids. Like, he said something to you. (laughs) It was like one final, like, like, dig at me. I was like, no. He was like, hey, no. Hey, did you want to be my baby mommy or what? No, I swear he said baby mama to you. Baby mama. No, he probably did. You should hit him up. If I I got his number. If you're watching this. Hey, sir. Baby mama. There was so many things at Coachella that just gave us, like, weird, magical, but scary energy. So true. Remember, also like Nikki, Nikki guys. Do you know about this? She like looks at people and they like immediately are like entranced. It's scary. She like l- makes eye contact with one person and then like she's like he's coming over. He's coming. I'm like, what did you do? I don't know how it works, guys. It's because she's like, no, show them what you do. I don't know what I do. What do I do? It's like I don't know. <laughs> it's like a look. Like I just I don't know I just give, she's good at it. If you're not watching the video version, I'm sorry. I'm just like you need to like zoom in on your face. Yeah. I don't know what she does. It's crazy. I just I look at people. I don't know if it's my eyes because I I have pretty big eyes, so maybe it's that. But I also maybe They're I'm like good at looking scared. No, Nikki, you entrance them. It's no. crazy. They, this guy no because I was gonna say the next in- experience. This oh. guy came up and was like, "Y'all need an- y'all ladies need anything?" He's like, "Can I get you anything?" Like as if he's a waiter. This man comes up to us in the middle of like a musical set and is like, "It was." Crazy, and yeah. I was like, guys, I just stared at him. Sorry. I was like, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> it's so scary. I was like, can you stare at, like, other people and, like, I don't know. Dominic Fike. Oh, <laughs> wait. Okay. So then we're going to see Dominic Fike. This is, like, the last day of Coachella. And Reagan was like, Nikki, you're about to fall in love. And I was like, what? Like. She said she knew of him. Oh, yeah. Like, I knew, you know, you I knew Dominic Fike songs, like, in 2018 when Three Nights came out. I was jamming that. My ex showed me that song. Yeah. But, oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> Well, this is like how it is to hang out with me. I'm like, my ex showed me that. She's like, wait. Um, it's okay. It's a different ex. But yeah. You need to tally this up or something. <laughs> um, oh my God. Anyway. Dominic Fike. Dominic Fike. So Fike. I was blasting that in 2018. You know, I knew a few of his songs. Like, I was, I, like there was like three songs that I knew really well. And I've like heard his music, but I couldn't get into it. And we're and I also knew what he looked like from Euphoria. So like the green hair right. is what I'm picturing. Is what I'm picturing. Right. Yeah. She didn't know the current one. I knew what he looked like now. That's why I was like everything she described of her type. I was like, you're gonna love him. Oh yeah. We and were talking about our types. Yeah. That's why. I was like, he's literally perfect for you. And then I remember he came out with a huge beanie on, and I was so sad. Not even like, a beanie. A uh, giant hat it was, with ears. It was ears. It was like rabbit ears, and it, you couldn't see his face. And Nikki was like, oh, like yeah. And I was like, no, he's he's perfect for you. She's like, I promise. I hope he takes the hat off. I know. I was like, take it off. <laughs> so we're like sitting there and I'm like, Reagan, I don't know. I know he what he looks like from Euphoria. Like I'm not into him. And then he opened his mouth. He took the hat off. After he West did. Coast Collective, the first song he sang, he took the hat off. And I was standing there for two hours like this. Yeah, she actually didn't move. Actually, actually, she didn't move. My mouth was open that whole set. You were in tra- You You finally got a in taste trans. of your own medicine. Wait, that's a crazy feeling. I that's do. how you make these, no. these soul readers feel no, no but actually um no. i'm like sad because after after that concert we both got into like his his like albums really heavy now i'm like i want to see him again because i would know all the songs yeah He's i really did good. see him twice after that and i think he was like why is this girl in the front row two nights in a row because i went to his concert in la like, what and I and the second night though he like stripped for the audience and I was like is this because I'm here like okay like you're like chill do this chill, alone guys. with me it's like oh my what oh, I was like what like we, I don't know. we were preparing um two nights ago we were like we're gonna have him on the podcast at some point oh yeah a hundred percent right like if you want to come on <laughs> <laughs> we have big plans okay so let's talk about the apartment guys where do we okay how do we even start? Should we start about like how we start? How the crazy thing when I asked you if you wanted to move. 
guys this is another sign so i yeah. there's so many signs with our friendship it's wait like you can crazy. see the purple now it's so cute because oh, the sun's like yeah oh. it's like 3 p.m and the sun's going down this wait, is sad yeah, it's gonna literally um, be like bright that's like so basically i have been living in airbnbs y'all know this for like a while if you don't know i live in la in airbnb so i'll go home to new jersey then come back for a month and it's like it's very trying because i live out of a suitcase mm -hmm. and it's like really tiring so i'm like Last time I was in LA, I was like, maybe it's time. You know, I've been doing this for, it was a full year at that point that I've been airbnb -ing. So I was like, maybe it's time to look for mm -hmm. an apartment. And I felt like ready for it. Are you ready for it? And then I, are you ready for it? <laughs> and I was like, who can I live with? Cause my old roommate on she got her own apartment. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, who can I live with? Let me think. And I was like, <laughs> we always vibed, but the thing we was, always vibed. I had my apartment and I was so comfortable. I was like, moving she was so happy. Like, it's like moving sounds like so much. I lived alone and I was like, I had all my stuff there. It was so simple. Yeah. And then Nikki kept bringing this up and I was like, I would be down. I'm just like, uh, something else needed to happen to like push me right. a little. You didn't really want to like, leave your safe space yeah it was just comfortable and i didn't want an apartment hunt either i was like reagan i get it work, like it's right? so much work and if you don't know where you're looking like it's, it's a lot. there's so many options mm -hmm. and there's mm -hmm. so much things in la like horror stories about apartments like messing you up so yeah and it's like I'm scary. especially like like <laughs> at first i was like oh i'm gonna have to move in again alone and i was yeah. like i physically like mentally cannot do that it's yeah so much work and then I swear the day after we like hung out on Halloween or yeah. something. And then Nikki <gasps> yeah. asked again. She was like, this would be so fun if we just like live together. And I was like, yeah, wait, it would. Cause I, I always really had fun wanted with you. a roommate. And I then, didn't want to live alone. Yeah. I needed, I needed one too. It was crazy. Cause when I moved into LA, I would, I didn't even know anyone that I could live with. So it was never even like That's a so crazy. mindset. I could live with someone. Right. And then, um, I swear the day after she brought this up, I get a letter slipped under my door with a rent raise of like $400. For like nothing. And it was way and too it much And it wasn't money. me. It wasn't <laughs> me. I was like, it was, I literally was like, Nikki, what? I texted you and I was like, bruh. She texted me the next, cause that was literally the night before I asked her to move. Mm -hmm. And the next morning she was like, like what did you do? You're like, please. Yeah. Literally. It was a lot. And then like for me to want to live with someone, like I don't like a lot of people. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> We're very picky because I'm like. I you hear stories about people that just don't and I'm like but we had so many like trial and trials with like us that's living so true. in like hotels and things yeah coach and we lived so in a hotel together like we yeah. were like we could do this yeah so we start looking and I already knew like I already had a few things in head mm -hmm. in head in mind in, in head, head. <laughs> And noggin. I had some things in head <laughs> what, um, is that, like scripture that's funny wait <laughs> do the anime thing Okay, never mind. It's too soon. <laughs> Reagan. Okay, anyway. Um, guys. Yeah. Um, so. I got the letter. So, yeah, and she got Nikki, the letter. We're Nikki, like, was like, what area? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, well, I'm used to being kind of, like, on, like, by the coast. And I was like, wherever you are comfortable, wherever you want to go. So, we literally did, we searched everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. So. Yeah, so we, like, we're looking and. Can we tell about the hairy stuff in the toilet? We had some funny stories. This was crazy, guys. This was the first, first apartment we looked at. And it was like a nighttime touring. It was kind of like we were at A to twilight out. showing, if you will. Yeah. It's supposed it to be spooky. like cute. It was spooky. And then um, we like, we had a self tour. So yeah. it was like just us going in there. And when we walked in. We were like looking around this apartment and I was like, okay, maybe. Like it had good potential, mm -hmm. honestly. And then like we go into the bathroom there's something in the toilet. Oh, S something is an understatement. So, there's was, a monster. <laughs> there's gremlin in that. It was holy. Some, we don't know what it is. We don't even know if it was like poop. No, it was. <laughs> was it? It was hairy and black. It was. I'm not even exaggerating. It was, Regan. It smelled like shit. It was. Hair. It was. It was literally like. What I expect, like, my nightmares. To, like, I actually, like, still see it. And it's really... It's, I can see it if I close my eyes. When I close, close my, my eyes. eyes. Oh, shoot. Should we watch The Greatest Showman? Oh. We don't have TV or Wi-Fi. or That's We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get oh! to it. Right, okay. So that, the shit. So <laughs> The shit. And then we're like, okay, not for us. Maybe not. Maybe yeah. that's a sign. No, but the, the way that it was like so badly timed, like we were on a self tour and the tour lady <laughs> walks in as we're leaving the shitty To show someone else. To show, and I was like, she's going to think we took the dump. Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So then, like, do I text her? I was like, no, just go. We went to another one where, like, the view mm -hmm. was like of an abandoned pet store. That was <laughs> from every window in the apartment. It was like huge Petco. It like, was like literally abandoned, and we were like, oh, 
Oh. I was like, I love pets. It would be fine if there were... It was like animals running around. I'd be like, okay. And no one lived in that building. It was so scary. That's we, true. We would have been like the first tenants in like a in like a large building. That's actually like really spooky. Really scary. Oh, I don't... People are like nice to be around. Yeah, I don't want to scream already met, and no one would hear me. We've met some fun neighbors. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So let's skip fit forward. Yeah, yeah. So then this is the second day of touring. We found our apartment and it was perfect beautiful stunning i didn't get to i saw it before reagan did and i was like wait like you have to come see it and and the the guy at the time was like you can't self-tour you can't self-tour and i was like i really want to self-tour i really want to show reagan Mm -hmm. and because i went with the guy alone and i was like i know she's gonna like this apartment and so that's perfect you knew and it's another sign because we were out touring different apartments that day and reagan didn't see this one in my head i'm like this is so Mm -hmm. much better than anything else we're looking at Mm -hmm. and the guy texts me he's like fine I'll let you self tour. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, and geez. we were like, please, like, we actually want so, this. Yeah. Yeah. And we did. We stuck I to mean, our we, word. Yeah. So then we're like, okay. So then Reagan comes. She, like, you, like, fell in love with it. Oh, I my God. Like. It was insane. I literally, like, I was trying not to get excited because I was like, this is out of budget. Yeah. I didn't crazy. tell Reagan the rent before we moved. Yeah. I was it. like, you're just showing me this. I was like, this is mean. Like, I, I'm i not going to be able to afford this. Yeah. Like, what? But it was good. We got, like, a good, like, deal on it, whatever. And then. So good. We, I left LA for a little bit and then we decided to move in and I basically moved in a couple things at once and then yeah. like Nikki, Nikki ordered so many packages guys. It was so funny. No, it's crazy. I had like all my stuff come before I moved yeah. in. Yeah. I don't have anything in LA. So I had to order like a bed and everything. Yeah. And so yeah. wait, okay. We're going to run out of time. So I'm like really going to tell oh, the story. No, get into it. Guys, there was a giant where it's New Year's Eve. It's our first night in the apartment. We're like. We have making drinks, having a little vibe. And mm-hmm. I see water. Like, we're wa- in my bedroom and we see, like, water start flashbacks. dripping. And Reagan's like, oh, there's a spider on your head. I there's saw a glimpse of it. And, and was it like, was literally just, like, water. And... That was the first drop. The first drop. We did drops. not realize what was held above. Guys, it was bad. It was literally tsunami. And we had, like, a giant leak. Uh, we'll literally get into this at a different time because mm-hmm. I don't even think we'll be able to get into this. But we'll because tell you our apartment horror stories. This, like, frantic mindset is why. This is why. Yeah. We haven't had hot water for days. We had a giant leak. Mm-hmm. There's so many things that have gone wrong that I think we need a whole separate, like, time on this. Like, yeah. a whole separate episode on just, like... Like, this. apartment trauma. Because the story times are so funny. Yeah. Because the... Yeah, our plumber. We have like literally stories. We had to spend New Year's Eve with the plumber. Yeah, and it was crazy. But it wasn't just any plumber. I literally thought we would, I, we talked so much. I was like, oh, we were gonna answer questions, but wait, we'll do how this much second. time do we have? Literally like a minute. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm stressed. I'm like, I'm yeah. <laughs> I start rapping. <laughs> okay, should we wrap? Wait, guys, we'll wrap. We'll wrap. Okay. We're gonna do another episode with you. Better come back because and, yes. and questions. For yes. you guys, we're gonna read yes. from the podcast. Leave yes. us questions. This was a good like background of what we did, what, how we're we trying to like get through it. I'm like, ah! <laughs> well, I love you guys. If we don't get to finish this pod, I freaking love you guys. And um, also make sure to follow on everything and follow the podcast and subscribe to the YouTube and follow Regan and leave us a comment on what you want us to answer in the next one because we'll film a whole separate episode just doing questions and apartment horror story times. A lot. A lot of tea, a lot of juice, Wait, a, lot of a lot of water. A lot of water. A lot of water. We have so many funny stories to tell you guys of just the past like three mm-hmm. days. No, it's like actually, this was a good intro to the, yeah. that's going to be a great, a great episode. Yeah. Wait, this is crazy because I was like, how do people fill up an hour? But now I totally get it. Oh my God. How many, how much time? I feel like it's been five minutes. Wait, guys. Are we, at, are we <laughs> yappers? We're yappers. No, we're losing We've been talking voice. for uh, 30 minutes. What? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Reagan. Hi. (laughs) I'm like so excited to be here. I'm like, thank you. Wait, we're going to do a part two. We're going to do part two. Yeah. But leave us a question. Let us know what you think. I love you guys. Forehead kiss. Nikki loves you guys so much. She doesn't stop talking about you. I literally haven't had one sip of my coffee this whole time because we've been yapping. That's crazy. Oh my God. I forgot we got coffee. Oh my God. We're so frantic. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you in part two. Go to part two. Go Go to part two. Go. Kim Kardashian. Down, boy. Wait, what's the other one? My door. Uh, my door. Uh, oh, my, my God. That'll be in part two. Oh, yeah. That's all of our inside jokes. We'll explain later. Oh, you got to know that one. Wait, I literally thought it would stop recording by now. Oh. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Wait, we're still here. We're like, well, <laughs> let's sit in silence now. <laughs> it's going like, to cut me off. Okay, love you so much. Uh, that's the the Kardashians. Okay, I love have to go. Love you so much. Love you Come so much. Come back and for part two. keep up with us, don't mm. you? Wait, give them a kiss. Mm. Mwah. Bye guys! Just start making out with it.